What's going on, everybody? Um, not feeling well today, man. Had a good day yesterday. Man, I was throwing up all motherfucking day yesterday, man. Shout out to my new subscribers, man. And, and old, can't thank you guys enough for uh, showing up and showing out for me. Um, we all in this together, man. It's us against the books. Uh, like, subscribe if you like this video. Uh, hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. Um... Make sure you're following um, underdoor, uh, underscore, under, underdog underscore uh, NBA on Twitter. And, you know, hit the notifications for every time they tweet. Today, we all the games come on within an hour of each other, all right? So everything come on within an hour, and it's over with. So you got to, you know, you got to uh, be on top of your game today, all right? Man, I do not feel good. I don't have much today, man. I don't have much, man. I don't have much. So, you know, I don't even have too many. Um, I don't even have. I don't even have too many official plays either, man. You guys could probably hear it in my voice. I, I'm fucked up. So right off the back, we got a minus three. Uh, 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 Minnesota Timberwolves favored by three. Okay. Um, they on the road. Versus Cleveland Cavaliers team, two nineteen over under. Um, with Minnesota, it's been trend, things has been trending under, and I mean over, and uh, things have been trending under with uh, Cleveland. Um, so you know, last time these two teams played, they only played once this year. They did go over the total. Uh, Cleveland, they're battling some injuries right now in the point guard position. We know that, and um, and um, I mean it is what it is. Uh, so <clears throat> nothing official here, but I'm going to have to give the edge to uh, Minnesota in this one. All right. Now, uh, this is a revenge spot for Minnesota because they did just, uh, 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 lose to that game, uh, uh, versus Cle uh, 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 versus Cleveland. Um, I'm going to have some interest. I'm, uh, I did have interest in, uh, the three point, uh, ball for Lori marketing. The usage is there for him. You know, he, 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 uh, they're going to have to get points, man. So the usage is going to be there for him. Uh, I'm going to have some interest in his three point ball. Okay. Just like I went to his three point ball last game. Uh, last time these two teams played, I think he had three or four threes, but you know, I, I, uh, you know, it, it's, 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 uh, I'm, I have interest in that, you know, and then, um, uh, when the alternates come out, I'll be waiting for those alternates to come out. And I'm just going to just go for something like a, you know, maybe a, a 13, 14 points apiece for uh, Mobley, Allen, and Markin and just roll with that. I will be betting a double-double for uh, uh, Jared Allen. Uh, if it's juiced up pretty much, because uh, Kyrie Towns will give up some rebounds. If the double-double is juiced up uh, pretty much, man, I will uh, parlay it up with uh, a few other plays that I'm going to talk about. So, you know, that's what I got right there, all right? Uh, looking at things on the Cleveland side right now. Uh, not trying to be so greedy. Um, next game on the docket, we got uh, Indiana Pacers at Orlando Magics, 213, 231.5 over under. Uh, last time these two teams played, it did go over. We don't have any props out for this one, so I will brief you up on some of the players that to watch out for. All right. Now, the reason why we don't have any props out for this one is because they are probably waiting on the status of Malcolm Brogdon, which I believe Malcolm Brogdon will probably be out. Matter of fact, let me check Twitter because I haven't been on Twitter this morning. So bear with me one second, guys. So I don't see anything. I'd imagine um, he's out, though, man. I'd imagine he's going to be out. This is a back-to-back. -back. They don't want to push him for nothing, you know? So let's just go through some things. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton, his assist, I'm going to have interest there. And and um, he's 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 going to play for a double-double. Wendell Carter, last time these two teams played, he had 19 and 18 rebounds. Double-double. Uh, he's in play for me. Okay? Um, Malcolm Brogdon, uh, if he does play the three ball, I'll be looking at that. Uh, if he doesn't play, I'm looking at somebody like Buddy Hill, which he's been having uh, a nice uh, few games here. Um, you could look at his PRAs because uh, he's been having, you know, 
Uh, he's ha- he's been having oh six seven five six seven eight nine rebounds, four five seven four uh, eight one uh, assists. So you know his uh, PRAs are in play here, and then you know he can shoot the three ball with the best of them. Cole Anthony, I'm gonna have some interest in his uh, assist prop. Last time these two teams played, him and Suggs had eight assists apiece. Uh, and then uh, his rebound prop. You know, I like to alter his rebound prop down to about four. Uh, six is not out of the realm of possibilities for Cole Anthony. He's just that decent of a rebounder. And then O'Shea Brissett is another guy I'd be looking at, uh, looking for him to stretch out uh, the uh, stretch out that defense and uh, from the three point line. So uh, that's something. You know, those are some things that I'm looking at right there. All right, he will go out there and rebound the ball pretty good too. And Franz Wagner's in play for raw points and uh raw points as long as well as uh Jaden Suggs too, man. So, you know. Uh man, you know, that game there should be an okay game for San Game Parlays, okay? Chicago Bulls at Miami Heat. Damn, man, I don't feel good, man. 224 over under in this one. Uh Miami Heat favored by four and a half. Miami Heat beat the Bulls two times, man. They beat the Bulls twice. One with uh one with uh, Bam Adebayo and one without. All right, uh, d- double doubles in play for me for Bam Adebayo. All right, so let's get that out the way. Number one, number two, um, there'll be no Kyle Lowry in this one. All right, so we're gonna be looking at some guys like uh, where is he? Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson. Okay, uh, Duncan Robinson. You know, Duncan Robinson has hit the three ball on us. All right. Now, Miami will give up the three ball, too, so I have interest in Zach Levine threes, all right? So uh, those are some guys. And so the three-point interest I have is Zach Levine, um, Duncan Robson, and Tyler Hero. Now, uh, Tyler, you'll probably get uh, somebody like, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Probably going to get the start. Uh, Gabe Vincent might get the start here, okay? So. He's got a flamethrower for three too, so keep an eye out on that. All right, so um, yeah, even if you want to alter, alter him, you know, for my player pool, let's see, uh, Duncan Robinson to Zach Levine three or uh, points. I don't mind get the twenty for uh, Zach Levine either. So uh, yeah, assists. You can look at assist props now. I'm gonna like I said, uh, somebody like I don't. I'm not right off the back. I'm not gonna like the pace of this game. All right, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Uh, I mean he. My um, um, things about Miami Heat, you know, they've been trending over lately. They just went over with uh, with uh, with the Spurs, you know, and the Spurs. I mean, they've just been trending over, and Miami will give up the three ball. Uh, so uh, you know, guys like Zach Levine and then um, um, Kobe White, you know, they'll be looking to launch that three ball. Uh, Jimmy Butler, you know, he'll be trying to bring his all around game. You know, this is gonna be his uh, his his, his uh. His, uh, his former team, you know, he's going to be trying to bring his all-around, you know, triple-double game or whatever you call it, you know. So, look for that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? So, his, peripher- his peripherals would be a play here, you know, even if you want to get to something like uh, – so, they got Jimmy Butler assist popped up at eight, man. Like, come on, man. But still, I guess. He'll be trying to run some point out there, you know, so – um, not, not, you know, I'm, I'm gonna add, it, add, add, add six assists to my player pool for right now, man. But, you know, that motherfucker, I don't know, man. Now, because he will go out there and try to get a triple double, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, with a low amount of points, you know, but, you know, it is. We'll see. Uh, rebounds, uh, DeMar DeRozan has been rebounding the ball pretty well, so I don't mind going to four for him. Um, Jimmy Butler, I guess, man. Uh, I guess I could throw him up there for six, like, you know, it is what it is. Uh, eight rebounds for somebody like uh, a bad man, Adebayo. Uh, Adebayo, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, those are some of the players that I really, really, really look at. I got to go through these. Keep in mind, any three, any three of these, any three of these uh, will uh, give you plus money. Any three, any three. I don't give a fuck if you take the threes down. Duncan Robinson, three is down. You can take down Jimmy Butler, six assists. Any three of these to get you plus money. You know what I'm saying? Six rebounds, eight, six, and four. Four, six, and eight. Any damn thing. Any damn thing. Uh, that's what I'll be on. Y'all guys know that already. All right. It's a revenge spot for the Bulls, man. They lost two in a row, man. The Bulls got to tap them on their motherfucking ass. Uh, don't, don't, don't. Um, You guys got to be pay attention to those standings now, all right? Standings are important, all right? 
Standards are really important. All right. Uh, raw points wise, I mean, you know what Dem DeMar DeRozan has been doing, Zach Levine. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you can get to a 25 for DeRozan and a 20 for uh, Levine. Don't mind adding that to the player pool. Uh, you get it, it, you get that at minus 125 if you want it, you know. Uh, and you could just about put anything with that and get to plus money. I mean, I'm, I'm anything, anything, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you could go back here. Like I said, yeah, you could throw eight rebounds up there for uh, – you know, you can get, you know, anything. So, usual suspects here. Nobody different. You know, that's how I'm rolling. Um, if I had to pick a salary, it's going to be the Bulls. Of course, it's going to be the Bulls for me because uh, that's, I'm a, that's going to be a homer pick for me. You know, so it's going to be a homer pick for me. You know, so it is what it is. Supposed to has been coaching the shit out this team. It's Miami Heat team. But, hey, it is what it is. Uh, Brooklyn Nets, I really don't have anything for this one. They don't have any props out for this one either. So I don't have anything for this one, man. I don't, man. No, keep an eye on the status of uh, uh, Fred Revly, and there will be no OG and Anobi. We know that. Uh, you know, Pascal Siakam might be in a good spot here. And Brooklyn. Brooklyn has been trending over lately, all right? Especially the last four or five games. Um, Andre Drummond. He's in line. He's in. He's a double double candidate today. Okay, so he'll probably go on one of my double double parlays, depending on you know what the odds are. If it's juiced up, if it's not juiced up, I'll straight bet it. You know. Um, Charlotte Hornets at Milwaukee Bucks here. Uh, two forty over under in this one. That is a high ass total, and then that's a high ass spread. Now, um, ten and a half point spread. Um. This is the last, the fourth and final matchup between the two. Milwaukee Bucks have, they, they, Charlotte Hornets beat them twice, all right? Milwaukee Bucks won one of those games, and they'll be looking to win, and they, 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 they need to be looking to win, all right? Charlotte Hornets need to be looking to win, too. So, Charlotte Hornets should be playing hard. Um, I could, all I could see, I could, you know, I see the threes here, man. It's the threes for me. Uh, you know, it's the threes for me. In certain instances, uh, we don't have any. Okay, so, all right. So, okay. They didn't have uh, uh, the mellow ball them out here early. And this should not this, this should not come to no surprise. Uh, the last three of these games, man, everybody has been all over the place, man. I mean, you had the mellow ball, gave them eight threes one game. I think, uh, I think uh, Terry Rozier gave them six threes one game. I think Chris Middleton gave him four threes a couple times. So it's all types of shit in play for this one, all right? All types of shit, man. All types of shit, you know. I don't have to go into this shit. I mean, you, you look at these threes, man. I mean, if you want to go with the, uh, a Middleton two, a Ball two, and a Porters two, it's plus, all right? You could do that. That could be done. I will say that Bobby Porter's, you know, I, he hasn't been shooting the ball, three ball well against these guys, but it can happen, all right? So, you know, that is what it is what it is with that, all right? Uh, then, you know, uh, Miles Bridges is in play for threes. Uh, I can, I, it's like a cat and mouse game between me and him and his three pointers, man. I keep jumping on him and off of him and on him and off of him. Uh, PJ Washington has got a hold to their ass behind the three point arc. Before, so it's a lot. Look at that, and then you know they just throw anybody up there, man. Like that's crazy. But they gonna they. It looks like they gonna throw the house on this one here. They gonna throw everybody that's relevant up here. It looks like they are gonna throw everybody that's relevant up there. So uh, don't forget about your raw points, okay? I haven't looked at it. Let's see. Let's see what these raw points looking like. Yeah. So you got thirties. Uh, a lot. Uh, Chris Middleton. I, I have some interest in that twenty. I tell you that. What you got here? Mason Plumlee, six points. Five and a half points. They're just going to have to hit me in the head because I'm going to have to jump on that. <laughs> I might jump on that, man. I might jump on that. Mm, five and a half points. Ain't that some shit there? Look at that. I guess. Uh, 15 point section. Uh, you know, you could get somebody. Now, now, now. Uh, LaMelo Ball, Terry Rozier, and Mal Bridges, okay? Uh, that's plus money. All right. 15, 15, 15. That's plus money, okay? That's plus money all day long. Um, not 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 saying it's gonna happen, but I'm just telling you. I'm just letting you know. All right. Now the rebound and set category here. Uh, 
<clears throat> they got uh, ABC. His, his rebound probably juiced up, bro. Juiced up. Now, uh, I don't mind getting to six rebounds for somebody like um, uh, Mason Plumlee, even though he hasn't been rebounding that good against this team here. Uh, four rebounds for uh, 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 Chris Middleton. And uh, it's going to be painful, bro. It's going to be really, really painful. But, you know, I can go to somebody like Ball for four rebounds, okay? I can take him down. I can go somebody like um, I can go somebody like uh, what my boy at? Uh, 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 Holiday for uh, uh, four rebounds. You know what I'm saying? That's not out of realm possibilities there. And then you know six rebounds uh, for somebody like Miles Bridges. All right, sweet spot is going to be five when the alternates come out, but six is not out of realm possibilities there. All right, so it's going to be a lot of ways to get to the money here. All right. And then if I'm not ready to go to a six rebound for uh, Bridges, then I have to go to maybe something like an eight with a Bobby Portis. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of ways to get there, okay? And my player pool is going to be really, really big for this game here, uh, especially when it comes with the peripherals or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to be uh, my player pool is going to be really big there. All right. Now um, assist assist wise here, um, four assists and. Uh, I don't mind. Uh, where is uh, Holiday? Uh, four assists is six, 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 six assists for Holiday. Uh, uh, those, those two, pro those two props are in play for me as well. All right. So uh, four, uh, uh, four and six. Okay, four and six. You know, those are two plays that can be added to my uh, 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 pool as well. All right. So those are all the pl uh, all the plays right there that I have been looking at. Um, double double is not, you know, double double is not uh, uh, um, uh, um, rim of possibilities here. Uh, if I'm, you know, if I'm going for, uh, if I'm, if I'm going to take uh, any uh, um, player performance double, and I'm and I'm rolling with Milwaukee, then I'm going to look at something like a Giannis double double and win, or maybe the three uh, threes for uh, uh, <clears throat> Bobby Portis uh, and 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 the win there. Uh, uh, double doubles not out of realm possibility for uh, Bobby Porter's at plus one thirty two. It's a lot, man. Uh, keep in mind, it's gonna be a lot of jump shots, a lot of rebounding opportunities here. Okay, so you know some of your, you know your Terry Rogers, you know pretty decent rebounders and stuff like that. You know little quick guards and stuff to quick to get to the ball. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot here. Um, Charlotte Hornets need to win this game. You know, truthfully, they do need to win this game, man. You know. Uh, they 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 falling apart. Um, Miles Bridges he's had a double double in four straight games, uh, so uh, that's something to uh, look at there. Uh, you'll get his double double for plus three hundred, man. He's had a double double in four straight games. All right, all right, uh, yeah. So yeah, man. I mean, you know, that's about it for that. Uh, Terry Rozier, you know, he's been on fire, too. You know, from a raw point standpoint, can't forget about that. Can't forget about that. You know, he's been on fire. Uh, he's had, what, 20, what, 33, 23, 5, 25, 35, 25. You know, that's 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 been his numbers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, his last five or six games, okay? It's a lot to like here. It's a lot to like here. Uh, you know, keep an eye on those standings, guys. I'm going to take a brief look. I'll come at you guys with some standards numbers next game. I mean, tomorrow. Starting to feel a little bit better now. Um, San Antonio Spurs at uh, Memphis Grizzlies. 237.5 over under in this one. Um, eight and a half uh, point favorites uh, Memphis Grizzlies are. And, you know, everything about both of these ten teams have been trending over. Everything. You know? uh, so, uh, the total is a little bit high for me to bet on. Uh, uh, but, uh, yeah. Um, I, I, I'm just going to have to go ahead and make this an official play. Uh, damn. It went up. They went up. They took it up. I got it in at 10 and a half, but, uh, I wasn't going to make it an official play, but now that 12 and a half, I can't, I can't make that an official play. Uh, even though it's doable, I can't make that an official play, man. So I'm glad I got in there at 10 and a half. At, uh, uh, I think it was plus 105 or minus 105 at the time, but I got in there. All right. I can't bet that unless it's live. Uh, I bet, I bet last game. I bet I took his regular rebound prop and I took twelve against the Bulls, and then I live bet him all the way up to sixteen or seventeen. He ended up getting twenty rebounds. 
So, you know, DeJounte Murray, these teams played twice. DeJounte Murray did have a triple-double in one of those games. He had low points, though, probably like 15 to 16 points. But he had a triple-double. Um, so that's something to keep an eye out there. Uh, threes are in play here. Uh, in this, you know, in this environment, threes are in play. Kelton Johnson gave these guys four threes one, one of these games. One of these games. So, uh, you know, Kelton Johnson has been, you know, on one from behind the three-point line this this year. Especially as of late. Uh, so, you know, that's now the realm of possibilities there. All right, last time these two teams played, he had 18 points. And he went four for nine for three. So, he shot a decent amount of threes. It, it was 118 to 110. So, yeah. Um, barn any foul trouble. Uh, barn any foul trouble. I'm going to have some interest in... Um, Jaron Jackson rebounds, all right? Um, and he rebounded the ball pretty well against this team, man. Uh, I, if I, I think he had nine rebounds and 11 rebounds. Uh, this is not a pretty good uh, rebounder team. You know what I'm saying? It's not a good rebounder team here. So, uh, man, Yaka uh he had seven rebounds, I think, in both games that they played. Um, so that's something to look at there. So as far as the prayer, prayer pool here, I mean, I could, you know, I could start rambling shit off, but, uh, you know, if it was that easy, it would be that easy for me to start rambling shit off. I, I mean, uh, it, 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 it could be easy. You know, it probably ain't, but uh, somebody like uh, Dejounte Murray six rebounds, um, General Jackson Jr. six rebounds. Um, Eight assists. You can get that. You can get right there. That right there for uh plus money right there. But uh, you know, I'll keep it, I'll keep it going. Even if I want to get to two threes or something like that. But Desmond Bain, Keldon Johnson. Uh that's those are two uh three uh two two props that'll be in my uh prayer pool right there. Um Yaka Perto has not hit eight rebounds, both of these ten. Times these two teams played, um, I'll I'll throw it up there. I'll, I'll still throw it up there. I'm iffy though. I'll still throw it up there. Um, oh, and I want to talk about assists too. Um, let's go to the four assist prop here. Yaka Pertle and Stephen Adams. These guys are definitely you know. These guys can drop some assists, okay? Uh, Yaka Perto, he's been, you know, flirting with that six, seven, eight, three uh, assists range here and there. Uh, you know, even if you want to go down to a three assist prop, you know, for these guys, you know, these are some rebound and kick out type of guys, so they, they can pass the ball, uh, both of them. You know, I put you on notice for those guys, too. It's Those are painful plays, but, you know, it, it is what it is. It's just reality, you know? And then if you don't want to go to threes for these guys, of course, you can go to uh, um, 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 raw points here. So maybe something like a 10 points or something like that for Yaka Perto. Uh, that's not out of the realm of possibilities there. And then uh, what do we have? Uh, we do have Kelvin Johnson point, 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 uh, priced up at 16 points here. He did have 18 last time these two teams played. Even when the auto is coming out, getting to a 13 or something like that, you know, I can I can get down with that. All right. So, uh, DeJounte Murray, uh, he's got a good matchup. Uh, John Moran is not the greatest defender. And then uh, John Moran did give these guys uh, 40, I believe. Uh, so, that's something to uh, – uh, 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 you know, look out for as well. <laughs> John Moran has been playing some great ball. He's gave these guys forty one points. So 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 he's been killing it. You know, he's been killing it. You know, he'll go out there. You know, this is a this is a big time uh you know matchup between him and DeJounte. DeJounte should be looking for a triple double and uh John, uh John Moran should be looking for thirty or better. All right, so uh, it's gonna be a lot to like about this game. All right, a lot to like about this game. So yeah. Damn, I'm out of breath talking about that game, man. Last but not least, I don't have much for this one here. Um, right off the back, the Sacramento Kings are nothing here. Uh, you get uh, even if you you can add them to your money line parlays if you want. At minus one ninety six, that's a decent number for money line parlays. Uh, they got the rebound props and shit juiced up here. Uh, what you got here? You got uh, 
Yeah, the boys and supporters, we will probably do up in 13 and a half, which is definitely doable, but I won't be going there. You know, I, I, I won't be going there, man. I'll try to find something else. Uh, De'Aaron Fox, um, and Shot got us and Zanna. Both of these guys have been, you know, on fire, scoring the ball. So uh, that's not out of the realm of possibilities. Even if you want to alter these guys, you can go to a, you can go to a 20 points for De'Aaron Fox, and then you can go to a 25 points for uh, Shagatis Alexander. That'll get you a decent uh, return on investment there. I mean, well, you know, it's a minus 115. I don't mind that. And then you can put in damn near anything else with it if you want. You know what I'm saying? Overall, I'm just looking at the, I'm looking at the, uh, I'm looking at the uh, I, I, I'm looking at the uh, 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 Sacramento Kings to win this game. You know what I'm saying? And I might just, you know, uh, sprinkle a little something here and there. Like, let's see if I go with a, uh, a Sacramento Kings, and yeah, I could probably go with a. I could probably go with the. I don't know. I know I like Sacramento Kings to win. Nothing official here. Maybe a Darren Fox. 20 points, you know, something like that. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I know I got Sacramento uh, uh, Kings to win this game here. Prayer performance doubles. I mean, I know the uh, double double on the win for uh, uh, Sabonis is probably juiced up, so that can go with a double double parlay with uh, probably somebody like Bam, uh, you know, so I could probably go with a double double in the win. And then maybe like a Bam out of Bio double double, Wendell Carter Jr. double double. Those are probably the most confident double doubles that I got right now. Um, looking over this slate here, what else? What other double doubles did I have? Let me see. Maybe a Drummond. Oh, uh, uh maybe a Drummond and the uh, um, what's his name? Jared Allen, yeah, and then and then you know, uh, uh, especially if uh, Brogdon is out, you can look at uh, Halliburton double double. Yeah, so that's you know I'll probably parlay some of those up. You know what I'm saying? I like to parlay double doubles up, man. Peace out though, guys, man. You know, have a great day. I'm out, guys. Be safe out there. Remember the games come on within an hour of each other. <laughs>